Google just launched their official Android emulator, and trust me, it's way better than the other options out there, but like everything, it has some drawbacks too. So, if you watch this video straight towards the end, I'll clear you each and everything about how good this new Android emulator is. So, let's set the boring stuff aside and get into the video. The emulator is called Google Play Games Emulator. Once you reach up here, click on Download Stable Edition, and the setup will start downloading. The installation is just like the Google ones. As it finishes, a window will open up like this. Do a swipe up on the screen and you'll feel how really smooth this thing works. Now, here is something I wanted you to know. If you notice, there are neither navigation buttons nor settings visible on the emulator. So, for the navigation buttons, you have to use Ctrl-H to go home and Ctrl-B to go back on your keyboard. For the settings, we'll talk at the end. Now, if you open up the Play Store, you won't find any apps. Some popular games like PUBG and Call of Duty are also missing, so we'll have to install them manually. Open up your Microsoft Store and search for WSA Side Loaders. You'll find lots of side loaders here, but you have to install the one named AOW Tools. The reason we're using this one is that it's free and works really well. When you open it up and move toward the device section, you won't see any listed devices. So, to link the emulator, go to the Help menu, select this code, and copy it. Now, search for Command Prompt and run it as administrator. Here, paste the code you copied earlier and hit Enter. Now, if I go back to the device section, you can see it has detected the emulator and shows it's online. You're almost done now. Just go to the Install section, drag and drop any app's APK file here, and it'll start installing. It may take some time to install according to app size and PC's performance. Now, if I open up the emulator, you can see the apps are ready to use, and I can easily log in with my account to use them. Before going into the settings, let me share an issue I faced with this emulator. Sometimes, when I opened it up, I got this weird screen. I'm not exactly sure what causes it or why it happens, but it fixes itself after a minute or two. If you are also having a similar issue, let me know in the comments. Now, if you want to play around with the settings, click on the hidden icons in the system tray and right-click on the emulator. From the developer options, you can change the aspect ratio and mouse input mode accordingly. And if you click the graphics settings, you can switch the graphics output to your internal GPU. Here, you can also boost your FPS up to 144 Hz. And that's it in this video, my friends. Thanks for staying until the end. Take care and bye.